are now on the road getting ready to meet up with Jeremiah Stringer and uh, we are going to do the gear swap challenge. Uh, this is something that Jeremiah came up with one day while we were sitting and having a little cup of coffee and just hanging out. Uh, basically, you've got a few rules to the gear swap challenge and they go a little something like this. Rule number one, all gear is swapped. This includes your backpack, your hiking poles, your sleeping bag, your pillow, your sleeping pad, your tent, all of it. Gear is completely swapped. The only thing that's not swapped are your clothes. Rule number two, you have to set up the other person's backpack or hammock alone. No help at all. They just get to sit back and video you and laugh their heads off. Rule number three, hiking poles must be set to the height of the owner of the hiking poles, not the person using them. Which should be hilarious today because I'm five foot eight and Jeremiah is six foot four. This ought to be interesting. Rule number four, you must eat the other backpacker's food. So whatever they pack for you, you have to eat. Yeah, uh, poor Jeremiah. <laughs> Rule number five, you're allowed to bring one item, one mystery item that the other person must wear and carry with them the entire trip. The mystery item that I brought for today is something that's gonna drive Jeremiah absolutely nuts. Uh, when you live in the state of Kentucky, people down here do not like the Ohio State Buckeyes. Um, as an Ohio State fan, I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, we never play each other. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just professional jealousy because our football team's that much better. I don't know. But uh, Kentucky fans don't like Ohio State. So today, I brought a hat for Jeremiah to wear. An Ohio State hat. <laughs> I can't wait for him to put this thing on. Needless to say, today is going to be a really fun hike. Um, we're going to be camping out down the Big South Fork here in Kentucky. I'm actually driving down to Jeremiah's house right now. Uh, he lives in Somerset, which is about an hour and a half south of where I live. Um, he's a school teacher, so I had to wait till he got out of school today so that we can get down there. Uh, he's got some really cool places he wants me to check out. I'm excited about seeing what those places are. It's always good to go backpacking with a local because they know where everything is. They know where the stuff is that maps don't show you. And so I'm really, really pumped to uh, check out whatever it is that, that Jeremiah is gonna do today. So I'm sitting here at Jeremiah's house, just kind of waiting, and uh, he's still not here. I'm trying something a little different today with the video stuff. I'm actually bringing my DSLR with me, my EOS 80D. Um, I've never taken it out with me, it's a little heavier, so um, that'll be interesting. Maybe because it's a gear swap, I'll just get Jeremiah to carry it for me. Oh, I think he just showed up. Let's see. This is the Jeremiah Stringer getting gas for a backpacking trip today. You excited, man? Dude, I can't wait. Uh, you, you say that, just wait till you see what I'm making you carry. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love it. <laughs> you're gonna love yours. <laughs> All right, so we made it down here. We're just past the uh, state line of Tennessee uh, near Pickett State Park. Um, and I'm here with Jeremiah, who uh, you guys might know this guy. What's up, guys? I think he's done a couple videos somewhere, but uh, he and I are, are backpacking together today. And uh, we're doing this gear swap thing. And so I want to give him his first piece of gear that he has to wear this whole time. And I think he's going to love this. So... Uh, Check this out. I got something I want you to wear this entire time. Yeah. Yeah, if you're okay with it. Can you do this? We'll see. <laughs> Can you put that hat on real quick? I I'm gonna do this for all of the this Ohio is, backpackers. Burns. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. Burns. That is beautiful, look at this. <laughs> you're sick. The freak. Ohio State University is on the head of Jeremiah Stringer. I got something for you, fam. Oh, do you? Do you? No joke. <laughs> Let's see it. Uh, let see. 
Not only am I wearing a UK hat, but it's camo. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna go hunt some deer this week. C A T S cats 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 cats. Hey Jeremiah, how you like those hiking poles, buddy? Dude, check check out my form. <laughs> look at look how short, man. How tall are you? I'm five eight. Okay, I'm six three. <laughs> if I were to actually use these like I do, I mean, look at this. <laughs> no, You're like that. I need platform shoes. It's like, I don't even know how I'm going to use this. I don't even know if this is any good. I'm going to be like, I'm going to, I'm going to put my arms out like this just to like make it make it sense. Who's it's at like, more of a disadvantage, dude? I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I think you're more of a disadvantage. <laughs> I think you got a better chance of falling over with those things than I do using those things. So what do you think about all this, man? Dude, I think you got a pretty good setup here, and you're like living life in luxury because you got a Helinox tied to the top. And I don't even know how to spell Helinox, so you're sitting on a Z seat. And I, I feel bad for you. <laughs> Let's go, baby. If I'm being completely honest right now, there's no way I'm using these hiking poles this entire time. <laughs> it's like walking with like, I don't know what it's like walking with. These things are huge. It's like carrying trees. There's no way I'm hiking with this the whole time. I'm gonna have to hike with them, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not, just not doing it. I don't, I'm not sure it's a competition, but you're gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> I made the rules. I can do whatever I want. The nerves of steel. Dude, this is insane. I got good news for you though. Yeah? There's plenty of mosquitoes over here. Awesome. So, something to look forward to. I'm wearing citronella, so I'm good. Not gonna lie, Jeremiah's looking good up there with that Ohio State hat and that red, black, and white backpack. I may be the only one able to make it look good. If we're on. <laughs> it's called confidence, so I'm not being, uh, not being facetious. Confidence or cockiness? <laughs> Call it what you will. <laughs> Really, dude? <laughs> They're tall, man. Look at this. I'm holding them by the foam underneath them. Oh my gosh. Already got short man syndrome. This is making it worse. <laughs> so Jeremiah might not have hooked me up with like great hiking poles or a backpack that fits. Hey, that's good gear. <laughs> but he did get us a killer campsite. This is gonna be a pretty awesome place to stay. Check this out. Perfect campsite, man. Firing. Plenty of room for tents. And then the best part of it all. What you got? Cook kit. All right. Haven't even looked inside of it yet. Food bag. Light AF food bag. Yeah, that's, dude. That's the fancy stuff. She's back for you. Woo. We got here, we got tent steaks. Custom carbon. That makes me nervous. Light as a feather, man. Light as nothing but the best for you. That thing weighs like a metric ton. <laughs> Don't know what that is. <laughs> is this the tent? Oh, a lunar solo. Those aren't the poles for a lunar solo, though, are they? <laughs> That's a lunar Wait a second. What, you just give me like random poles so I can have them? <laughs> Is this another tent? No, that's no. not your sleeping pad. I was like, tell me to give me another tent. <laughs> Holy mother of pearl. Ooh. I watched your video on this thing. <laughs> what is this thing here? I got one of these pills. I should have brought it and made you sleep in. <laughs> that's a good pillow, man. <laughs> I guess your clothes I'm not going to wear. What the heck is in the bottom? <laughs> Oh, look at this sleeping bag. Didn't you just say you had like a big video with this one? Yeah, yeah, check it out. Oh, man. I think that's it, dude. What'd you put in the back? That's the big question. Well, at least you didn't put like a whole roll of toilet paper, which you put pretty dang close. <laughs> Once you be comfortable, man. ZC? What is on that? <laughs> that's... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's dirt and ashes. <laughs> That's like caked in, bro. What is that? I promise it's dirt and ashes. I'm gonna get my hands near that. What we got here? What is this? Ooh, what is this thing? That's a fancy raincoat. Frog togs. When did they start doing neon green? Dude, you gotta pay extra for that kind. I guess so, man. It matches your sleeping bag. <laughs> is there more here? I got I got this bottle. See see if you can read on there. This bottle right here? No, this one. This bottle right here. Don't ah the pee bottle. <laughs> That's for you, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> You're the second person to touch that bottle. <laughs> I don't know if I should be thrilled or terrified. Ah, the night core. I'm gonna sleep in this. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, if I'd have known about this, I'd have put it around my neck. Yeah, man, that's for you to wear. Dude, that's gonna hurt somebody. I hope nice. it's not me. <laughs> and I have a trash bag. <laughs> you thought you forgot one, but there's one right here. I'm good. Actually, there's two in here. I got trash bags for days. Sweet. All right, I want you to check the stuff sacks. You said the backpack was a little bit heavy. Man, I just thought we were trading each other's gear, Jeremiah. Yeah, we are, we're... dude. I'm just trying to help you be I, comfortable. I, I didn't know you were like gonna hurt me or something. Let's see what we got here. I've got one of these. That's... I need to do a review so I can get 3,000 views like you did. <laughs> Is that really a second tent? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know which one you would want. So You brought two tents? I didn't know which one you'd want, dude. I'm gonna set up the big one. That one's not even the tent, that's just the rain fly. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. You didn't even bring the tent? Yeah, the tent's oh, down there. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna sleep in luxury tonight, dude. Check check the uh, the sleeping bag. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is awful heavy. I thought this was supposed to be a light sleeping bag. There may be a surprise in there. Oh no. That's just a ground sheet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little things. It's, it's the little things. Uh, the actual tent body. I'm, I'm using this tonight. That's the three person, dude. I'm using it. I'm gonna sleep like a, like a king in this. That one's just as hard to set up as the lunar solo. That's fine. At least I have room. <laughs> I'm a big boy, dude. That's the three person, man. I'm, I'm a big boy. I'm setting it up. Let's see what you got in this bag, man. All right, let's see what you pack me. I know I'm living in luxury because I got the Helinox. I've set one of these a couple times, but I don't own one. Check the outer mesh. Ooh, Patagonia rain jacket. We'll switch if you want. I'm good. <laughs> what else is in the mesh? Friction gold bond. I don't know where that's been. I may not may not use that. <laughs> I know where that, it's been. You know. <laughs> First aid with an entire roll of Luco tape for one night. <laughs> And a bunch of band-aids and patches. It's like some allergy medicine. There's allergy enough band-aids in there, man. If you get attacked by uh, like a, I don't know, like like a wolverine or something, you can really get yourself cleaned up nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're thinking of me. What is this, a dry bag? Yeah. See to some it? Just in case you needed an extra. <laughs> All right. Such a nice guy. Yeah, I do what I can. Through Hawker's Manual for the shelter we, even though we're not on the shelter we. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm really glad you brought this. Very useful. And then a, a Ziploc bag because you can never have enough zippies. We got a water cleansing kit. Which I didn't see a filter in my backpack, so I'm kind of nervous right now. It's just, in a side just pouch. saying that. Yours is in a side pouch, you just didn't see it yet. It looks like you also have Aquamura tablets or uh, droplets, so I got a backup in, ca in case the, the filter fails. Got uh, a headlamp, black diamond, good brand. It's super lightweight, like I forgot to put the batteries in it. <laughs> That's good news, because we're going to a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> and Picard and insect repellent, tent poles. I have no idea what kind of tent yet. Some more water. Tent, tent stakes, I'm assuming, in like the Dyneema bag. I also like your little, uh, your little mesh where it's got the water bottle. I need to get one of those. I just talked to Justin Anderson. Yeah, send me one, Justin. He's the man. 
Oh, a uh, tripod that I can't use because my camera broke when we got out of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check inside. How do you open this thing? I don't know. Oh, it's a roll top. All right, frameless. Frameless, I assume. Semi frameless. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got a sit pad, some like size eight flip flops. Ten and a half, thank you. Ten and a half, okay. Well, they don't I fit wear, me either anymore, so. I wear 15, so <laughs> very useful. Oh, the Big Agnes. I'm excited to see. I haven't, I've never set up a Big Agnes tent. Big Agnes, if you're watching this, I'd love to set up your tents. And we got the Fly Creek UL2. I hope that's what's actually in there. Dry set. Is your backpack not waterproof? I don't know. Mine's not. We got a waterproof event. See the summit. See what's inside? Yeah, man. By the way, this is. Uh, I'm really here to take care of you. Yeah, because this is like a compactor bag, which is what I use, and then a waterproof bag inside the compactor bag. And it's an X pack bag to begin with. <laughs> so, you got. Triple waterproof for me. I've been told you're not very coordinated, so I figured you might walk, you might fall in the water, you know. So I was like, I gotta protect you a little bit. Thanks for thinking of me. Yeah, nothing but love, man. A camp towel. Is this clothes? Yeah, dude. A Browns hat. Hey, hey, go Baker Mayfield. Are you a Cleveland fan? Yeah, brother. Okay, just so y'all know, this is like a fleece hat, and the low tonight's like 65. I don't know what kind of sleeping bag I'm working with, but. I assume it's going to keep me warm enough. I don't have to wear a hat in the summer. And a shirt. Yeah, dude. Check out that shirt, though. Oh, dude, this is a sick shirt, for real. Look at that. Wolverine? Oh, yeah. Dude, I might have to take that home and put it on my wall. When I was a kid, I used to pretend like I could shoot Wolverine's claws out of my hands. And I like that's what I'd wish for, man. That is sick. Yeah. It's good to have goals. <laughs> I turned out okay. I turned out okay. I'm in charge of educating your youth. Zip, Ziploc bags in case it's not enough waterproof. So, wall socks. And an extra pair of shorts. That's exactly what I needed. I knew it's what you needed. That's why I brought it. Electronics bag, I assume. Super long cord and a heavy battery pack for one knot. That's you never know when you're gonna need 10,000 milliamps. <laughs> Joke's on you, man, you got a 20,000. <laughs> this looks like my food bag except smaller. So I'm assuming, let's see, what we got? Cook kit, see the summit. I'm excited to try a new cook kit because I'm using the budget option. And various bars. <laughs> you brought me Twizzlers for dinner. <laughs> or is that my breakfast? <laughs> That's your breakfast, bro. Okay, at least I have some food. And I found a can of Taster's <laughs> Choice coffee from like 1987. So I put a little bit in a baggie in there for you. Thank you. You have instant Folgers. <laughs> <laughs> the Tensor 20R. Haven't heard of this one. I see it's 20 inches wide. And uh, 72 inches long. <laughs> Why am I going to sleep on this? Uh, I just hope we fit in the tent. A blow-up pillow. That's good. Oh, it's not just any blow-up pillow, man. <laughs> that's the this X is the pillow. greatest pillow ever created. The X pillow. <laughs> I did a review online. You should check the video out. <laughs> I'm assuming the sleeping bag at the bottom also triply waterproof for some reason. <laughs> You're really cautious, dude. I, I just don't want you ruining my stuff. <laughs> I don't blame you. Please, God, don't be a zero degree sleeping bag. <laughs> All right. I hope you got the extra. This is a quilt. This isn't a sleeping bag. I don't know. I don't know how to use this. I've never used one. That makes this even better. <laughs> is there any? What? There's something else in here. Another waterproof bag. It's a pack cover. I mean, oh. I, I just really don't want you to get my stuff wet. <laughs> this is the pack cover? How are you supposed to get to it if it's at the bottom of your pack? Well, it's not going to rain. <laughs> what is this? 
a ground sheet. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Enjoy. You want to try setting up the tents or something? Jeremiah, it's your turn to set up my tent. Do I need the ground sheet? I would. as easy as I thought. Well, this has got like a bathtub floor? Yeah, dude. Nothing but the best for Jeremiah Stringer. All right. Feeling good so far? I hope so. You look great in that hat. Now, I'm gonna have to sleep with the door open to fit inside, I guess. <laughs> All right, so this is what the tent looks like that I put together. This is like a 12-man tent. That's an easy one. I believe that when Jeremiah was a child, his whole family fit inside of this. <laughs> I can't confirm nor deny. He, uh, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it's like a house in there. This thing's going to be great. I'm not looking forward to carrying it again tomorrow. Let's look at the tent that Jeremiah is going in. The Fly Creek UL HV2. The part that's going to be the most fun is watching Jeremiah go in the front door. I think that's going to be my favorite part of this whole thing. Oh my gosh. So I, I, which door are you going to use? The left or the right door? <laughs> the whole idea of the gear swap was to kind of realize just how much you depend on your own gear. But honestly, I think I got the better end of the deal tonight. <laughs> you suck it. <laughs> it's like, I mean... Well, I'm hiking tomorrow. I'm probably going to be pretty upset, but man, look at this. I mean, this is massive. I mean, I could fit three sleeping pads in here, the wide version. No problem. I get a really nice pillow. That's a Thermarest memory foam pillow. And then a really awesome sleeping bag. I get a nice side door because... I always wanted it on my fly creek. It's awesome. And I didn't bring you camp shoes. <laughs> and Jeremiah's wearing my flip flops. You brought me some, man. Look at that. Dude. Dude. Jeremiah. <laughs> Those are my clothes, man. All I know is I cannot wait to see Jeremiah try and fit inside this thing tonight. Man. Although he gets a killer pillow and an awesome quilt that he kind of threw in the back of it and a fantastic sleeping pad on top of that <laughs> this is way smaller than what he wants so far this has been a good good evening so far we've had a lot of fun just kind of choking around about <laughs> everything that's been going on but uh this shows you how important it is to have gear that fits you um because when you don't walking with his hiking poles is one of the most confusing things i've ever done in my life right now and uh but it's been hilarious and uh Right now, Jeremiah's walking around my flip-flops. So, he, he stole them from me. Right, Jeremiah? That's right, man. I'm, I'm keeping them. I'm taking them home. You're a thief. We're going to get the campfire started. We're going to hang our, our food bags and uh, probably get some dinner. We'll get some dinner going, hang our food bags, start a fire, and uh, just kind of hang out for the night. we got this awesome waterfall behind us, and this is a fantastic campsite, so we're just going to have a good time. Yeah, so it's a, a repeat of the Shell Toey Trace when uh, Brian and I got attacked by bald face hornets hiking on our second or third day. I'm gonna try and get in here so you guys can see this. The right inside of this fire pit. And if you can see those things flying all over the place. There are bald face hornets 
that formed a nest inside the fire pit. You can see them flying around just a little bit. So I'm the guy that got stung by them. Man, it hurt. Got me right on the thumb. Uh, my thumb is actually bleeding right now and uh, got me on the neck right in here. I saw it land and it just stayed there and all of a sudden I felt this horrible pain in my thumb. And uh, if you've ever dealt with bald faced hornets before, which are apparently a thing around here, they come after you, they're very aggressive. So you gotta be really careful. So we're not gonna put our fire pit where it is. I think we're gonna find another place to put a fire. Right now, Jeremiah is out getting some more firewood. I already got the bear bag hung and uh, we're just kind of hanging out. It's been a beautiful day. We haven't really hiked a whole lot because just trying to get used to each other's gear was gonna be enough work. But just kind of relaxing a little bit, enjoying the time. I know for both of us, we just came off of some some big hikes. Uh, Jeremiah just finished up the long trail a few weeks ago and uh, I finished up the Shell Toby Trace and we were both just talking about how nice it is to come out and not have to hike big miles and just kind of enjoy being outside and hanging out at the campfire. This has just been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. We'll see how much fun we're having tomorrow when we both have to backpack with uh, backpacks that do not fit us at all. Good morning. It's about 6.30 I think in the morning and uh, got a good night's sleep in my massive mansion of a tent last night. Uh, went ahead and got up a little early and uh, switched out the food bags, or got the food bags and brought them back. Um, enjoying a little bit of Jeremiah's coffee here. Um, I think he's still passed out over there. Uh, one thing we did do uh, I wasn't going to let Jeremiah sleep in that tiny little sleeping pad. Um, so, so we did switch out the sleeping pads and the bags so that uh, he could be a little more comfortable last night. Didn't want to make this a miserable experience by any means. Um, and sleep's pretty important. So, But uh, this has been a really, it's been a good learning experience just trying to figure out what it's like to uh, camp using somebody else's equipment, especially when it's stuff you're just not used to. Um, it's also kind of funny that you know you can load up a ton of stuff that people normally wouldn't bring with them on a on a camping trip or a one nighter, and uh, make them carry it around. But it's been a lot of fun just uh, being out here, hanging out with Jeremiah, getting to know him better. It was a beautiful night last night outside of the bald-faced hornets that struck me once again. Um, we're right by a waterfall, beautiful waterfall. Uh, it's a beautiful campsite. Uh, we did have to move the, the fire pit because of the, the hornets, but uh, had a great campfire last night. It's been a really good trip. I think I'm going to enjoy this coffee and then eat Jeremiah's oatmeal. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning and uh, Jeremiah's finally rustling down there. It's, he, looks like, he looks like a giant, like an NBA player in a dollhouse. He's so cramped up inside that tent. Oh, poor guy. He's just now waking up. I would show you a video, but there's no, uh, he doesn't have to fly on the tent, and I don't know what he's wearing or not wearing, so I, I don't want to put you all through that. Well, we made it down here to an old suspension bridge that Jeremiah was telling me about. And we're going to walk through these trees, and you can still see the cables and everything from it. If you want to look right here, you can see the cables still hanging there. It looks like that's some of the bridge actually laying on the ground down there. It went straight across. I don't know if it's possible to see. I'll see if I can zoom in. There's that sliver of light way in the back. A little bit of light. That's the tunnel we're getting ready to go through. So, should be fun. I've already slipped on the water one time. <laughs> if you want to see that, go to Jeremiah's video because he actually got it on video. He was able to cross the water without any problem. Not so good with me. There were, there were these two rocks that were made for people six foot plus to cross, not for people five foot eight. So, needless to say, I didn't do so hot. Well, we're getting ready to go in this tunnel. I'm basically just following Jeremiah. We're heading into the tunnel. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. You can see the, the beam going up here. It's just all rock all along the ceiling, all the way down to the end of the tunnel. Jeremiah's already down there and I heard him overheard him saying that he wants to catch me falling. So I don't know what that means, but we'll see what happens.
If you're ever doing a gear swap and you happen to be hiking with a giant, um, there is a hack when using their hiking poles. Um, as you can see, I can actually hold onto this rubber part and it's perfect for me. <laughs> They're cork handles. But Jeremiah still has to hold his down near his knees. So if there's anything I won on this week, it's that because I didn't win on the backpack weight for sure. Um, this has been a lot of fun. We're getting ready to hike back to the truck and uh, didn't do a lot of hiking. It was more just to kind of have some fun and check each other's gear out and, and just kind of enjoy hanging out and everything. But uh, we're heading back to the truck, then we're gonna head home, and, uh, but this was awesome. This is just awesome, man. Thanks for, thanks for coming up with this idea and asking me to be part of it. Dude, my pleasure, I've had a blast. That Ohio State hat looks awesome on you. So then we're hiking, yeah. and this guy pulls out two tents from the backpack he gave me. <laughs> I had Dear seven man. and a half pounds of tent Wait, in seven, my backpack. Seven and a half pounds? Yeah. <laughs> Jeremiah did that to you? He did that to me. Oh, Jeremiah. Wait till I see you, Jeremiah. It's ridiculous. You know what? It's probably because you're Ohio State, and he's Kentucky, and he's like, I just got to get this Ohio State guy. He's a bad sport. Seven and a half pounds of tent. Seven and a half pounds of tent. <laughs>